Hey everyone, welcome to Square Hook. Today we're going to be discussing how to change your settings and inputting your contact information in social media. So let's get started. There are two different areas you can go to to begin editing your settings. In the top right corner, there's a settings button here you can click on. Or on the left navigation bar, you can click on this settings button. Once you've clicked on it, it will direct you to some tabs. First, there's the General tab. Under the General tab, you can change your home page information, including the title of your website. When you start a new website, it will automatically populate with the title name of the template you chose. So since we chose the Wharton theme, we'll need to change that out for our site name. Once you've entered in your title, you can input a tagline and a description. I'm going to move down and upload a logo. All you have to do is click on the little cloud icon, search around the computer for the image of your choice, click on it, hit open, take a second to load. If you don't like the logo you've uploaded, all you have to do is click on the little delete button and upload again. Hit the save button. And I cannot highlight this enough. Be sure to keep hitting the save settings button to ensure the information you've entered does save. It's always disappointing when you don't hit it and you realize that all the information you put in was not saved. So let's go to the contact tab. The email box is really important because this will be the email that is linked to your submitted forms. So be sure to double check the spelling on this one, you guys. You can enter in a phone number or an address. If you put in an address, it will populate with the map for you. Hit save. We'll go to the social media tab. Here you can enter in a Google Analytics account, a Twitter account, Instagram, Facebook, or Tumblr. Now if you don't have a couple of these accounts, don't worry. As long as you leave it blank, the icons won't show up on your website. Once you've put in all the information of your choice, hit save. Go to the Users tab. If you want to invite somebody else to be able to help edit your content on your website, enter in their email, hit Add. It will populate down here if they have registered on our tool. Be sure to make sure that they do that first, okay? Hit Save Settings and Domains. Now, if you have more than one domain, you can enter it in here, click Add, and the list will start populating down here. Every time somebody goes and searches on one of those domains, it will default to this domain, marshallsite.squarehook.com, for example. So you can point several different domains to this domain. Hit Save Settings. Let's go check out what we've done. As you can see, we have the logo. And when you scroll over the logo, it will pop up with the title of our website. So we have Marshall's site right here. We have another logo down here. We have the title of our site, our address, phone number, a contact email, and a link to email them. We have our social media icons. Let's click on one to make sure it works. Goes right to our square hook page. Good. So everything looks good so far. Now, if you have any feedback, for us, feel free to click on this feedback button right here and leave us some suggestions or comments on how to better our tool. Or you can click on the question mark icon right here to get more helpful hints, video tutorials, or reach the frequently asked questions section. Now that we've walked you through how to change your social media and contact information, you can go make tweets to your own site. Thanks so much for watching, you guys. Happy creating.